Hey everybody, Rich Nono here, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector, and noted public, your construction train realtor. Having a realtor that has an understanding of construction, the construction process, home defects, as well as other issues is extremely important throughout the process. I know most buyers are focused on the price, the location of the house, the best floor plan, but let's face it. What is probably the largest expense to any homeowner? It's repairs, maintenance, stuff like that. And if you purchase a house that does have defects, that has construction issues, well, that could easily cost you hundreds. I, I should say hundreds of dollars if you're lucky, but most likely thousands, because if you do price things like stucco repairs, siding, roofing, I mean, you're easily talking about thousands of dollars. Now I'm over here at LGI Homes in Lake Alfred, and I love this. I want to show you this back here, this, this pond. Look at it. We've got some beautiful ponds over here. I don't know if they came in and cleaned it up or this is all natural or what, but really, really nice looking ponds. Check that out. It's great. What a nice view to have. So we're going to go inside and check out this house. Again, it's from LGI Homes. This house is really nice on the inside i do like it now normally i don't look at homes first before i make the video but in this case this house was inventory so i decided to go inside and take a quick peek at it so let's go in and have a look and let me know what you think a lot of good things about this builder that i was i was hearing So LGI Homes seems to be a very different kind of builder, how they conduct the transaction and uh, helping uh, first time home buyers as well. So if you're a first time home buyer, I know you can be very neglected throughout the process of um, you know, purchasing a house. At richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home? Investing in a rental income property? Thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnodohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnodohomes.com. Really nice floors, I like these a lot. Check that out. So LGI Homes is a, um, a production home builder, I guess you could say, where they just kind of pick and choose what's going into each house. So you don't really have to think about it, you just have to find the house that you feel good about, which is kind of nice. Yeah, pretty large rooms. I like this. So if you're a first time home buyer and you're thinking about it, please do contact me so we could start the proper steps to kind of get you underway and if you're paying rent of course you know you never want to pay rent you always want to try to find the best way out of it so many people come to me and they're paying you know two thousand three thousand dollars for rent and i'm just like why <laughs> why are you paying rent check out this this living room and kitchen i like it i like the the countertops i got that nice quartz going and you do have a covered, covered patio, your covered lanai, or should I say your covered patio and your lanai, or your lanai. Everybody calls it something different. So I just wanted to give you a sample of what these homes look like. Check out these 
cabinets. They're definitely upgraded cabinets. Very large. How many how many shelves are in here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. So that's nice to see. And the pantry, of course, is a nice size pantry. It looks a little bit larger than a standard size one. Got your fridge and everything's ready to go in a house like this. see okay so you got some extra extra space on this side of the garage on this side of the garage door you can see my foot and it looks like the same over here as well which is nice Hot water heaters outside, and they got one of these, one of these poles here. And a lot of builders don't do this. This is nice. That's that's to stop your car from crashing into your hot water heater, because some people will crash into their hot water heater. <laughs> it's just how it is. And I'm back in the laundry room. Closet. And another bedroom. How many bedrooms are in this house? I feel like I've seen four of them already. Not sure if I have, but I feel like it. Yeah, just a beautiful house. So again, if you are thinking about purchasing a house, it's always a good idea to have a strategy as early as possible. Sometimes it can take a few weeks or a few months or even a few years to get everything um, mortgage approved, I guess you could say, to, to get your finances where the mortgage says, okay, okay, you're good. And this to me looks like this is a master bedroom. It's the big room. You can see that the fans, the fans are in as well. Most homes don't come with a fan. Now this particular series, I believe, is the is the upper end series, which is probably why it looks like this. Oh, the toilet's not in the closet. Look at that. That's good. And. And here's a rack, so that's nice. Got a nice shower. I always do like this color, which is um, I think it's I think it's considered like a bronze color, but it looks black, you know, or maybe a little bit bronze-like. Very nice sinks too. Let's go back in the closet and I'm gonna do the, the closet cam thing. So my homes are extended plus the selfie stick. Probably, if I had to guess, this is, angle this down. If I had to guess, I would think this is maybe 10 feet. 10 feet by, oh, I don't know, I can't really, I can't really bend that way because I got the camera. <laughs> so I don't know, what could that be, four or five feet? Now who's this house for? Well. I'm assuming that I'm at the end of the house. I, mean, I do think that I've already shown everything. I think if you want a good size master bedroom with some really nice upgrades, beautiful floors, this is the house for you. It's got the nice courts. And it's kind of interesting because there's a bedroom over here. And here's the garage. So I feel like with this house, what you could do is you can kind of make this a little bit more like your own if you know what to do. So say, 
say if you don't need to put somebody in here, like a child or, or whoever else is living with you, you could potentially make this room the bedroom and maybe turn this room into some kind of an office, something that's kind of close by that maybe, you know, you're working late, here's your office, your computer's in here, whatever. And then, you know, you've got the bedroom over there or turn this into a small TV room, a den, something like that. Because across the way over here is another bedroom. So it's kind of interesting. And then, ah, there was, so there's two bedrooms over here. So what is this, five then? Got one here and one here. So there's two bedrooms. So two bedrooms when you first walk in, one bedroom here. And then when we continue walking, we go down into the kitchen and the living room and the dining room. So I think I gotta, I gotta switch hands now. Switch hands. So yeah, really nice house. I do like it. Um, probably one of the nicest single story floor plans that I've seen. And now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, it does offer some really nice flexibility because I mean, let's face it, single story floor plans can be a little bit harder to have good sleep because you're sleeping at the ground level. So on a, on a two story, you know, you sleep upstairs, so they're usually much quieter. But what I like is that you got a potential bedroom over here. The master bedroom is in the back of the house, but the master bedroom, just to go back here, now we're talking about sleep. Master bedroom isn't fully in back of the house because you have a closet and you got the bathroom. So what I'm saying is that this room and this room is pulled away from the street because here's the front door. So, you know, let's just say, you know, people are out early in the morning, maybe they're, you know, walking dogs, they're noisy or whatever, you, know, you can't sleep so well in these front two bedrooms. You've got the option to sleep in here or across the way over here at these three bedrooms. So essentially you've got three bedrooms that aren't in the front of the house. And I like that. That's, that's a kind of different. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can, I can add to it. Um, again, you know, you've got your covered patio. So that's nice. And with this house, you've got these fantastic upgraded cabinets. And the cabinets are a white color and the walls are a gray color because I'm looking at my camera's viewer and I'm like, is it translating those colors correctly? I don't know. And you got the shared bathroom over here as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, this bathroom is over here and it's kind of close to this bedroom. And then there's also another bathroom over here, which could be great like if somebody wants the bathroom that's somewhat private and they're sleeping in this room. They just gotta go from this room right out into this bathroom. So it's not that far away. So I guess also too, if some people needed to be close as well, they could, um, you know, uh, use this side of the house. So for example, if somebody purchased a house, I'm gonna say maybe uh, the homeowner, and you know, they purchased this house and they have a child or whatever that's gonna be living with them, maybe it's just one, and the parent or the parents, you know, this part of the house, they could all sleep in together and yet still have, um, you know, other people sleeping in the front or over here as well. But a lot of flexibility with uh, the five bedrooms, which is, which is very different than um, most other homes that I see, because usually most other homes, you know, uh, you know, four bedrooms are kind of more so, um, maxing it out in a single story, but this is a five. And I do appreciate everyone stopping by to watch this video. I hope you hope you have a fantastic day. Please check out my website at richnodohomes.com. Beautiful out here, feels, feels really good too. The weather's nice. It's hot day though, it's like 88 degrees.
Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. I would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. Mm -hmm.